Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. We're doing great. We've got a win streak of eight. Two characters left for all of our pussy notes. One of them being Judas. So let's get a move on. I don't think I'll have too much problems knowing that the Book of Belial guarantees deal with the devil. We just need to get our hands on some HP and we should be good. So... I'm still busy with the whole putting up a backlog of everything. Um, like I said, the holiday period is a time where everyone here is at home. And uh, I'd rather not be recording when I could be spending time with uh, the family. Um... So yeah, it's now the, uh, what's the date again, 21st of December. So if this is one of the last few recordings I actually have to do and then I'll be all set until around January 2 or 3. You're probably watching this. Uh, Around that date, actually. Yeah, that or I miscounted severely. No, we can't have a map here. Okay. Which will make it harder for me to know if I went everywhere. Looks like all of the important stuff is on the... Right side here. Ah, I haven't even been here yet. Okay. That's for probably where our item room and the boss is hiding. Nope, just the item room. So you already seen the boss room? Money equals power again. Well, don't mind if I do. We had that on our Eve run, and we did end up with. Uh, Around 50 to 60 pennies. There's our boss. Who we getting? Famine. Alright. Well, we're not getting HP on him then. We might drop a spirit heart. There's a chance. A small one, but a chance nonetheless. Ball of bandages. Gotta lick them all. Yeah, probably not gonna go into that curse room. Unless I get HP. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> be careful here. Better not have our win streak end by some stupidity on floor number two. Something that could very easily happen, though. That's the problem with Judas. If you get some HP, you're probably set for the most part of your run. If you don't, you could die pretty darn quickly. Could have used... Ah, there we go. That's gonna be good. Yeah, it is. No keys, huh? I'd be amazed if you didn't find at least a single one. Not just amazed, but also slightly... Damn it! There we go. I'm gonna blow this up, see if there's some money in him. Well, there's money in him. Not some money, but money. And I might as well do the same thing here then. Same ordeal. Book of Sin. Oh, we use one. Now we get a battery. Which means I'll just use it on Book of Sin again. For a black heart. Alright, so we, out of our item room, we've gotten a black heart. Gotten worse out of him, so. That's where I stand on that front. Okay, so. We're pretty safe on health. Come on, just. Yeah. There's our boss. 
Jesus. See spiders, man. Pin. Even if it was the haunt, I wouldn't have been. Uh, wouldn't have been worried either. Pin shouldn't last for too long. Uh, for items, mm, some more HP wouldn't be the worst. I think. Wouldn't sneeze at the pentagram or wired coat hanger either. Screw. Shot speed and tears up. Tears up. Yeah, well, basically the same thing, right? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Dark Bum. He wants to take your life. <clears throat> and there we have it, another run where red hearts are nowhere to be seen. For some reason they work out pretty well for me. No keys, so we can go to our store, but we still have some rooms left where we might have some hope left for that. Right. And that's gonna be your lot. No red hearts anywhere. Means we're pushing on to the depths. You just love to prove me wrong, don't ya? So I'm kind of wondering. Would your current win streak affect the game's difficulty? Not that it's becoming harder and harder to uh, win the game. We've been I'm getting more than lucky for most of this stuff, but... Yeah. Cool. wonder if I can blow all of these up with just one bomb. Yeah, I can. I heard there could still be items in here. So far I've been a bit disappointed on that front. I don't think I ever saw an item in there unless it was from a chest that I ended up deciding to open. Some keys would be well appreciated. Thank you. See? Ask and sometimes you shall... Uh, that's proptosis, isn't it? Yeah, how about a no on that? I never liked the item. I'm not gonna be changing my ways on that, I think. You don't really win games by being a douche and go standing next to your enemies. Unless you have mom's knife. Or you have no other ways of doing it, but if I can avoid it, I'd rather avoid it. So one more key for our shop would be uh, a welcome gift. But there's our boss, which we'll go tackle after finishing up on uh, this particular room. Polycephalus. Come on. Yeah, walk straight into that one, huh? Alright, turn up photo. Tears plus shot speed. The more tears you can fire, uh, the better. Krampus, I'm hoping for a lump of coal. And I'll leave behind Krampus's head if that's what you decide to give me. Well, he gave us a key. Am I the only one that thinks Krampus' head got borked to a point where he was just leaving it behind every time? I wanted the other item. Mm. <sighs> I really did want the other item, but we'll see if we can, can't... Uh, Get it working to get out both of them. Well, 
kind of wish our secret room was there. I don't think it's going to be above the curse room. Probably also not going to be there, but um, hey, maybe a nickel drops from here, right? Nope, just the one. So, if it's not there, it's probably not wedged in between there. Mm, could be next to our shop. Did I try up here? No, because it's probably not there either. It's probably not there either. Where the hell can our secret room then be? Hmm. Alright. We'll blow up our donation machine. I'd rather not do it, but... We've been donating a bit on the last few runs anyway, so it's not that... Condemning. And we're not taking the spirit heart. Damage should be good. Yeah. Not as high as the last time, but we're still pretty early on. So that could all change pretty quickly. Last one was pretty amazing. <coughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Oh, well, that's one spirit heart completely gone. Uh, wait, am I facing Curse of the Labyrinth again? Curse of the Maze, whatever. No keys again. We only need one, though. Because I don't think we'll be getting enough money for our shop at this point. Go get it. Yeah. Well, we haven't paid out with spiders yet, so the rumors on that could still be wrong. I mean, Dark Bomb, he was pretty powerful, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he could pay out with something you'd not really want, but I mean, not everything needs to be perfectly balanced. How else would you be able to do some weird stuff? Well, we'll be getting all of these. Alright, uh huh. Okay, then we can blow up. Uh, yeah, and. You clearly saw the red one pushing in the black one into me, right? Ugh. That was just straight up stupidity. Something dropped over there. I can't see what it is. That's oh, built. Book of Bly will be ready for action for our boss. If you allow me to go do it. Thank you. And all it shouldn't be a problem either. And they'll drop money for us, which is good. Not because I want to go to the shop, but because I completely forgot that we had money equals power. But we bought, bought a damage upgrade with it, so... Placenta. Well, we'll be trading that one red heart away pretty quickly. For Guppy's collar. I don't think it'll become Guppy, but I'd rather not stick around with just one red heart either. Seems like that would be a worst case scenario. Can't have a Polaroid invisibility, and you don't really have too much red hearts. And the dark bum hanging around. We probably won't be uh, short on soul hearts anyway. Man, where the hell are all these secret rooms hiding? Uh, did I try here? Yeah, we just... Uh, stupid curse of the maze, stop messing with my head. We still need to find a key. Missing out on an item room it wouldn't be the worst. There we go, but uh, I'd rather not do it. Hmm. One. 
I'll give this one go. There we go. Well, might as well try for this one. Then we'll get everything for free. There we go. Three red chests. Let's go f fill up our book of Belial and uh, we'll go through it. That could be uh, some good stuff in there. That's not going to help. And this one will. Wait, did that fly just freaking regenerate? Well, that's new. Come on, Dorgbum. You should give me at least something out of this. Okay. Uh, right. We were heading off into that particular direction. Oop. See if this is worth it. Well, the pills could be good. The pills could be terrible as well, but... <clears throat> I don't think we'll be facing too, too much problems here. Ah, flatulence. There's a name for that. Something called... Uh, IBS. Irritative Bowel Syndrome. It's a proper thing. Although I can see people uh, making abuse of the term to just go fart in public and... Uh, well, we got a spirit art out of that. Uh, good to know that's there. Yeah, I think people will make uh, bad use out of that by saying that they have it and just go fart the place up. Mom's bra! How about new? There are some weird diseases out there, man. I mean, I've been probably watching way too much stuff on the internet, but... Jeez. Like a dude that... Well, a woman that started growing fingernails. Apparently, uh... The thing that uh, makes your hair malfunction or something like that. Yeah, no, I'm a real doctor on that stuff. And uh, started producing uh, nails instead. Man, that must have been horrible. I mean, you can hurt yourself pretty badly on your nails. If they're growing, like, literally everywhere, you'd be scratching yourself all the time. Man, that must be horrible. Probably wouldn't mind going bald then, huh? But you should make ah oh jeez, should make fun of those people, man. They must have a rough life. Kudos for those that uh, actually do stick it out. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that if they would get something insane like that, they would just uh, pull the trigger on themselves. Um. Saw something about someone being allergic to. Pretty much everything. She, had, she was really confined to her own home, and even there, she could have uh, weird stuff happen to her. Get out of here, you! No, oh. man, we've been hit four times on this room already. Jeez. Let's try to keep it at four. All right, dark bum. There you go. And there's another one for you. Thank you. Jump button, huh? Well, if you find some consumables, we can't really reach. Well, I uh, have a means to live with that thing. I'll grade these dudes again. Are you going to drop money for me? Because you look a little... Uh, Yellow. Uh. Nope, a battery. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna use Book of Belial on a, a single lychee. Uh, what, is, what is that? Kane's eye. May you see your destination. We'll do it here, then go pick up the battery. Not that these enemies are particularly different, but I'll probably forget about the whole thing anyway. Yeah, Dark Bomb will get to pick that up a bit later. 
But also reading up on, well, reading up, looking up on uh, phobias. And there's some weird stuff in there as well, isn't it? World's a weird place. There's like... The fear of cheese. I mean... The thing is... I have no... No doubt that the fear is actually real. People do get frightened by the look of a uh, nice brie or something. <laughs> but those dudes have got to know it's all in their head, right? They're, why would you in God's name be afraid of cheese? I mean, it's not lactose intolerance because it's actually just a fear of cheese. And even then you could easily be afraid of milk and all of that stuff as well. And that's not the case. I don't know. Uh, what what else is there? A fear. I uh, I don't know if it's real or made up, but the fear of long words and the people that named it were kind of ironic because it's a gigantic long word. Oh crap! These dudes again. Haven't you caused enough pain yet? Yeah, fear of long words. Go figure. Um. What else is there? Like the uh, fear of being ugly. I mean, I suppose most of us uh, wouldn't like to be classified as ugly, but so I can't really say that's fear. It's just like common sense. Um, well, well, I have to concentrate a little bit here. Let me just take care of most of these and we'll continue my fantastic monologue on weird stuff people are afraid of. I don't have Book of the Lyle ready for the boss. Who is it anyway? Eh, it's not Mom, so it's Monster. I could have used it there because he can take quite the beating before he ends up kicking it, but I don't think it's I gotta be that big of a problem. Yeah, I'll probably have to focus on this one too. So my monologue will have to wait just a tiny, tiny, bad, tiny bit till I get this uh, thing solved. Come on. Come on. And we are through with this. What are we getting? Meat. Yep, the 1 HP will allow me to pick up mom's knife. Step, step. Yeah. I don't think there's just too much stopping us anymore. Although we... Well, okay, anyway. Oh, we're talking about... Oh, yeah. Weird stuff that people are afraid of. Um, apparently, people are... There are people that are afraid of the color yellow. Yeah. Um, oh, you exploded. How the hell was I supposed to dodge all that stuff then? Yeah, color yellow. Um... I think that's also one of those fears that's just in your head. Um, there's really nothing to fear. Um, probably a, a more popular one would be fear of clowns. Apparently that had something to do with the fact that... Uh, well, first of all, there's some... Uh, creepy-ass movies about clowns and they're hanging around now. Um, but... That fear was around well before those movies were created. Uh, apparently that had something to do with the inability to see a clown's face. Ooh, flying. And it wasn't even a gold chest. Nice. Um. Yeah. Thanks for the money there. I'll play you once, just so you don't feel uh, alone. Sitting here in the dark. 
and then we'll move on. Yeah, not being able to see Clown's face was uh, the thing that actually made him scary. I don't know, I uh, wasn't really a person to go to circus when I was little. So... Can't say I really have too much phobias. There's things I'll stay away from if I don't have to do it, but... There isn't really anything that really gets my skin going. Well, that's not really true either. We have a... Uh, Uh, what is that? That looks to be cursed eye, and I'm not gonna take it. Once again, we have a goal in mind, and I would like to achieve that goal. Uh, gonna buy the spirit heart and then leave. There's a HP lying in that room that I completely missed about. Sorry, bum friend. Yeah, so we have an attic, and that's uh. One of those ladders where you have to open up a latch and then a ladder comes down. You crawl on. Uh, when I was little, I fell off that thing twice. And by fell off, I don't mean I was being an idiot and let go. But the. Um, well, those ladders are in two pieces, right? So you lower it and then you can uh, lift up the top part, slide it down, and. Fasten it to the other part so you get one clear slider. I hope you know what I'm s talking about. Because um, otherwise, the story is going to be really weird for you. Let me try and explain it a little bit better. So, when you lowered the thing, you had like two half ladders, one being on top of the other, and you could slide the top part down to make one large ladder. And I had it happen twice where I was holding the top part with my feet on the bottom, well, the top rung of the bottom part and the whole thing came loose and I ended up falling on the ladder twice and uh, I still get a bit of the shivers whenever I have to go to the attic just because of going up the ladder itself, not really what's in the attic, that's a whole different can of worms right there. Um. So what else is the weird stuff I noticed? Um, well, every people has their own... Well, there are f many, many fears that aren't really that common. I mean, I've seen a dude that was apparently afraid of... Um, what was it, like, peaches or something? I mean, if you start being afraid of fruit, then uh, you might have a problem when you go shopping, but... We want the Polaroid. I did pick up the Polaroid, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Thank you, bum friend. Red chests, red chests. Well, some of these pills might be good. Hematomesis. Ah, hematomesis I can use. It's a feast, bum friend. Well, dark bum. Uh, this is an unknown pill for Are You a Wizard? Uh, yep, we're good to go. Alright, so we'll have one red heart, which we'll hopefully try and trade away on this floor. Oh, it's a... An XL floor, that sucks. Means we'll be stuck with this red heart. So no Polaroid invisibility for us. I think it was worth the ability to fly over it though. Okay, there's too much stuff trying to nip me here. So if you could just all bugger off. Alright, bad guess. Um, trying to think of some other stuff I saw. Um, people that were afraid of beautiful women. Um, suppose I could be one of those. That's more like a social anxiety, really. 
I mean, sure, you got the common ones, uh, Freight Heights, small spaces, large spaces, which is also quite difficult to get my head around. Although, if you think about it, I mean, it makes more sense than most of the other ones I've uh, named so far. Oh, there you go, yeah. Okay, so you can pay out with uh, spiders then, huh? Right, so this is great. We can use uh, Book of Blyle on both of our bosses thanks to that gigantic battery. I mean, we still have a 48 energy pill as well, but we really haven't found a good use of that. Maybe if we find a space where item that'll give us some health, we'll use this to get some more health and then it'll be good, but... Another battery. Could you like... There you go. New Yalinya. Good job. Alright, boss time. Loki. I wonder, could we get a boss on the cathedral? Um, not a boss, of course we get a boss on the cathedral. I... Oh, forgot about the fucking battery. Mm. Eh, it doesn't look like it's going to matter too much. Well, guess it does, did matter. We probably wouldn't have been hit there if we had that battery. So this is nothing. Let's go grab a, a battery. And then we'll move down to... Well, up to the cathedral. Oh, there are some more of those weird fears I've encountered. Well, not encountered personally, but saw on the internet. Um, fear of water. And not the deep end of a pool, but straight up just water. And indeed, that does include showering. Well, I'm telling you, this isn't going too well anymore. Could use some hematomesis pills. Bombs or keys, not really that important to us. Hmm. I hate these dudes. And God, they go down fairly quick with my superior knife. Jesus. Man, there's a lot of them. Either that or I'm they're not going down as quickly as I, th gee, I thought I was done there. Now we are. Well, not our boss. Come on, Dark Bomb. Well, just the spirit art at random is pretty sweet as well. Yep, I don't really have the speed to avoid you, dudes. Yep, just point the knife straight at him and everything will be fine. It's got to be our way to the boss, right? If it isn't, then we still might have some issues. We still have some issues. Well, it could be down. Well, I'm starting to doubt it right about now. Money equals power, so the money is still useful. Ugh. There's our boss. I think we'll be fine for the Isaac fight. Ooh, that could have gone worse. He's already crying and the vignette isn't even over yet. Jeez. Oh, God. Well, we might have some lives left, but... Uh, yeah. At least let me beat. Uh, at least let me beat this dude. Oh Christ! 
Save me in my time of need. I'm gonna get hit here. Nope. He's dead! No spirit heart, though. Hmm. Well, if it's gonna come down to whether Guppy's collar uh, is gonna do its thing or not, then uh, Relic, that's good. Isn't... No, that just... That's an HP up as well, isn't it? I kind of have to take it now, don't I? But it'll slow me down even more. This isn't good. The whole rock stomping part isn't going to do me any good. Well, it's gonna depend on how quickly we can find uh, our boss then. Alright. Bunch of monstros. Easy! Ah, and spirit art from the relic. Alright, we're clawing our way back a little bit. Probably won't be able to get away from those thrill bombs, huh? Let's uh, get this over quickly. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Mega. Eh. Dingles shouldn't be a problem as long as they don't tend to charge at me. There he goes. Alright, it's going good. Every room we clear without getting hit is a room closer to our boss. Ugh, got hit twice by Loki. Jeez. Talking about feeling like an idiot, huh? Ugh, three times. Man, if we're gonna have to start relying on uh, Guppy's collar, it's not gonna be a good day for us. We really don't get a, our. We're really not. Ooh, this could be good. There's bound to be some HP that drops here. Ah. Oh. I'll take one, and you can have one too. You're not paying out, huh? Alright, tarot card here could be big. I'm really slow. Come on, here are or lovers. The stars. Ah, great double adversary. Ah, oh, really? Wait, why did I get a half a heart there? Do I have placenta? Oh yeah, don't stand under him. That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Oh boy. Well, there's our boss. Oh crap, we're fighting death. Deaths and his sights that'll most likely end up hitting me at some point. Okay. Well, Relic. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um... I kind of want to go do another room to get at least one spirit heart. Chance of me not getting hit by Blue Baby are just straight up just nil. Um. Ah, great. Two more of these. Well, at least one of them is already dead. Should make the rest a bit easier, at least. Come on. Beep. Come on, Relic. Yeah! Alright, so this is how we're going to do it, right? We can get hit once, and after that we'll have to rush him down, or we'll be straight up ganked. This is our best shot, I think. Um, tarot card was pointless, right? Yeah, it was the Stars card. Alright, so we'll get Polaroid Invisibility at least. Well, here it goes. The longer I can wait on getting hit, 
Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. <sighs> and I don't even get an unlock for that. Did I mess up somewhere? Hmm. I played with Judas, right? He does have the kill, so there's no one lock for him? Huh. That can't be right. Well, that might be a bug. Mm, either way. I think that was our closest victory ever. So, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing. Next one will definitely be an Azazel's run to fill out our last post-it note. Bye, everyone.